So there's a lot of things that you can do in Minecraft, but without mods, it can get pretty darn laggy, especially when you're playing with higher render distances or with other crazy mods that change the game in really weird ways. But thankfully, there are performance mods that can help us. They'll make the game run smoother, better, or just make it a more enjoyable experience for those that have slightly lower NPCs. So in this video, I'll be exploring the top 10 best performance mods out there for Minecraft. Please subscribe, it helps me out a ton, and let's get started with number 10. Okay, so before we get started, I'd like to talk about something called NVIDIA G-Sync. It is a really cool thing where NVIDIA can scale up the resolution of your game. So if I lower the full screen resolution, just below what it was previously at, you can actually see that I'm getting a bit more FPS than I was previously. It's still a crazy high number, just a really cool little thing. So yeah, let's actually get started with number 10. And I forgot to mention that G-Sync only works with NVIDIA graphics cards. It does not work with AMD graphics cards. Just a heads up, just saying, since I know it can be annoying to try it with an AMD graphics card and it's not working. Coming in at number 10, we have a mod called Fast Quit. This mod doesn't really help in-game performance, but it does help the performance of when you hit the save and quit button. So let's try it in vanilla. So let's get a timer up there and see how long it takes. Okay, so we're back at the home screen. Now let's try it with the mod. So this mod is made by Cortana, and now let's try it with the mod and see how it changes how saving and quitting the game works. So let's save and quit. And you can see it takes me to the title screen instantly, and then after a couple seconds, you should see, yeah, there we go, it saved the new world. So it just takes you to the title screen instantly while it saves. So coming in at number 9, we have Dynamic FPS by Julian665. This is a mod that essentially, when your game's lagging a little bit and you want to try and tab out and do something, your computer doesn't continue to lag. Essentially what it does is when Minecraft's lagging, when you tab out, your computer stops lagging. It makes Minecraft use up less stuff in the background which I think is super duper cool and a great, great idea and sad that Minecraft itself doesn't have it, but thanks for the mod, it's super helpful. Kinda hard to demonstrate in a video though, so yeah, let's move on to the next mod. So coming in at number eight, we have Ferrite Core by Malt0811. So this is a cool mod that essentially helps how Minecraft uses your RAM. So we can see that when I'm in vanilla, I am using a good chunk of the default allocated RAM. So if we can just zoom in on the memory, you can see that I'm sitting at around 90-ish percent. So yeah, let's try it with the mod. So now I've turned Ferrite Core on, and you can't see a huge jump in performance, but you should be able to notice that I am now only sitting at 80 to 90 percent. So it's helping with the memory usage a little bit. I don't think it's really that noticeable with only two gigabytes of RAM. But yeah, let's move on to the next mod. Also subscribers, it helps me out a ton. Thanks for watching so far. So coming in at number seven, we have Enhanced Block Entities by Foundation Games. This is essentially a mod that is supposed to reduce the impact that large blocks have on your computer. So you can see that with all these blocks, my game is running pretty badly. And let's try it with the mod with all these chests. So yeah. Let's try it with the mod now. Let's paste in all the chests and boom, you can see that Minecraft is running far, far, far better. So this mod is the first of the ones I'd say you probably should definitely have running if you plan on having a large storage system. This is going to be an absolute lifesaver. Sadly, it does not work on server. It's, it's an only client side mod, but let's move on to the next one. So next up we have Lithium by Jelly Squid 3. This is just supposed to be a normal performance enhancing mod that just enhances Minecraft generally. It doesn't do a ton, but it is just a nice performance enhancer that does that little, gives you that little boost that you need. So here we go. I have turned the mod on and you can see that my FPS is a little bit higher. It's probably averaging out higher, but it is fluctuating wildly. We're going from like 518 to 300, then to 200 and then to 100, and then to 87. Then we're going all the way back up to 800. Now we're at 1,000, so it just fluctuates a lot, but it's generally better. Now, people that have watched my channel a long time, you know that I really don't usually like Distant Horizons, but I do have to acknowledge that it is a very impressive mod that does help out a lot, so that's why it's on this list. It's a really impressive mod, so let's try it out. So here is Destin Horizons. I have a render distance of 2,000 block radius. I use Chunky to help me do this. 
It currently says I have 290-ish FPS, but I don't really believe that since I am getting a fair bit of jolting slash stuttering. I don't know what you call it, but it's happening. So I still don't believe that FPS, but as you see, as these blocks are loading into full resolution, you're going to see that my FPS is dropping pretty rapidly. So again, I'm just running these mods by themselves or with the minimum required mods that they say they want. So, yeah, here we are. It's kind of laggy, but I am rendering a lot, a lot, a lot of blocks. So it's still a very impressive mod. Let's move on. And coming in at number four, we have NVIDIA made by Cortex. This is a super cool mod that's very similar to Distant Horizons. I think it just works slightly differently because it keeps the resolution of all the blocks, no matter how far away you are. And it shifts the chunk loading and generating and displaying to the GPU instead of the CPU, freeing up CPU usage. So this is the maximum amount of chunks I can render with only my 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Obviously you can do way better with like a 4090 that is 24 gigabytes of VRAM, but I'm not that rich. So I only have 12 gigabytes of VRAM and look at this huge mushroom island. So you can see that every single chunk and block is actually at full resolution. So I think it looks better. That's why I put it higher than Distant Horizons, but it is slightly less distance and it is a smaller rendering. So I'd say they are both pretty equal. I don't know if they work together very well, but if they do, that would actually be a great combo. Let's move on to number three. We're now in the top three. So coming in at number three, we have Entity Culling by TR7ZW. This is a pretty useful mod as it uses some math magic, coding magic to call entities. So let's spawn in a bunch of boats and see what it looks like without the mod, which I don't currently have. I'm starting at 150 FPS, now I'm at 10. So let's rejoin and see what these 1,600 entities look like with the mod on, and we will see how well it works. So here I am with the mod, and you can see that my FPS is still abysmal while I'm looking at it, but the magic of this mod is that when I look away, my FPS increases quite dramatically, so yeah. Super cool mod, let's move on to number two, second place. We've come so far since number one. If you're still watching, thank you guys so much. So here we go, number two, we got Sodium made by Jelly Squid 3. This guy makes some pretty impressive mods. So here we are without Sodium, just flying in a straight line at max speed. I'm getting around 30 something FPS, jumped to 50 there. But now let's try with the mod and see how much it gets better. And here we are with Sodium enabled, flying in a straight line. You see, I'm stuttering a little bit, but my FPS is so much better. This mod is absolutely insane. It is actually required in the first place mod, so oh well. But yeah, this mod is a must-have if you are running Minecraft with mods on Fabric, since it's only on Fabric. But yeah, if you're using Fabric Minecraft, this mod is a must. It is basically unplayable without it. Let's go to number one. We made it. Let's go. So here we are in number one with Voxy made by Cortex. This is a mod in early alpha, so it does have some problems. But overall, it is absolutely stunning and very impressive. So yeah, let's get started. It is a rendering mod, so we'll do that. So here we go. This is Voxy rendering 2000 block radius render distance. You can see it is absolutely fine. It's doing really well and actually looks better than Distant Horizons. And if you guys remember, let's cut to it. I did a really big one with my normal mod setup. So here it is, the 10,000 chunk render distance world. Not block, chunk. Each of those corners and each of those edges, well actually the middle of each of those edges is exactly 16,000 blocks away from spawn. That coal block is probably 16,000 blocks away. How it works is it scales down the resolution detail of the chunks, not the resolution of the blocks. It's like how distant horizons work, except instead of scaling down the resolution of the blocks and the chunk, it just scales re the resolution down of the block. So it's a super cool mod. Thank you guys all so much for watching till the end. Thank you so much. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.